some people are very fascinated by the way I draw clothes on this character. So I was thinking, well, um, why don't I share that with you? Why don't I share with you my process? As you can see that I've already I've already done this one and I, I was really happy with this drawing. I really like it. Um, and I thought, you know what? I really kind of like what I've done here. Why don't I just recreate it from scratch for my audience? Um, and uh, share with you the process of how I get to this this kind of pattern detailing on there and stuff. Again, like you can make up poses from your head, but as I said, like even the greatest Disney animators would always use some kind of reference, even if they're thumbnailing, particularly if you're working with uh, with more naturalistic uh, characters. So what I do as usual is as I look at the shapes, okay, the, the shape simplification. So what I see here when I look at this is as I see the letter M. OK, let's just uh, take knock that back a bit and start adding in some human anatomy in there now, some human construction anatomy so you can see where this is going. So I'm just going to like kind of like rough in uh, the head position and the angle of the head. So I, I'm, I want her head on the pillow. So I'm just going to it's going to kind of like be a three quarter, but more three quarter leaning towards profile view. And I'll show you how to tackle those eyes in that tricky situation there as well now uh, the easiest way to do this is to think of this as the skull so we got this section of hair this eye line is going to double up as the zygomatic arch where we've got the mastoid process which comes on the temple bone hair okay the mastoid process is always a helpful thing because that helps us find out really where the ear is going to be okay and the skull and all that so i'm not going to spend too much time on the face at the moment i'm just mapping in where everything should be okay so as I've got this thing here okay so that's where the neck's gonna sit now uh, frilled mayfly with all her clavicle and scapular belt studies of late uh, from the training library is going to appreciate this so we're gonna throw in the clavicle in there and we're gonna throw in a middle line there this is where the um, the rib cage is gonna sit okay on hair like this so that's the initial first kind of pass on it. So now after doing that, I'm going to go and I'm going to make a more kind of drawn in thing. Uh, I'm going to start drawing the character on top um, in a loose way. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to look at is, is I'm going to think about the, the now I'm going to start telling story with the drawing. OK. I, I called this video how to draw clothes, but I'm actually telling you how to just do the whole thing. OK, so I want to tell a story. So she's reading a good book. So I want her to be kind of like really excited and really into the book. So I'm going to kind of think about the eyes. OK, I'll talk about the eye shapes from the angle. I'm not actually drawing her eyes to model at the moment. So I want her eyes to kind of be excited. So if I can capture that excited look in those eyes from the get go, then I'm going to be I'm going to be kind of uh, happy. So if even though this so see, this is not really to model, but if I can capture the expression that I kind of want from from this. So I'm going to have her smiling. OK, and I'm going to have her biting her bottom lip. That's that's what I'm going to kind of want from this thing. So I'm not maybe I can think about the the eye positions. OK, but I'm not really too interested in getting caught up in the details of the face at the moment. My tendency, particularly being a Don Bluth enthusiast, is, is has always been, although Don Bluth involves curves and straights, he's always using these kind of, you know, this this kind of triangles. And this is like the way I, I've always drawn and I, I love to draw. So um, this kind of thing. So I'm I'm moving away from that a little bit as I'm doing these drawings because I, I feel I'm wanting to I'm wanting to try something a bit different. Uh, so I've been really enjoying myself doing these drawings and trying to trying to move away and trying to trying to capture a more softer uh, approach. So I'm trying to capture that in this drawing. So I'm going to bear in mind the thicker kind of arm there. Right. So this comes around. Okay. 
So we want to think about the shape, the framing. See how the brow line does this? So I want to fight against it as I'm making this shape coming around the back there like this. Now I'm going to, again, I'm going to conveniently hide that there like that. And then I'm just going to have that come over the shoulder. So this is the easy part. Now I'm going to layer this around the side. Like notice I make these little things to give the hair some kind of like growth out of the head. And then I'm going to kind of think about this shape in relation and the negative space in between the face and that. That's how we get an interesting hair design. The eye... Okay, what I, what you want to think about is because this is kind of like a three-quarter thing. So her eye, her eye is actually this shape. Okay, so her eye from the front is this this kind of thing, hair like this. So how do we cheat the angle when she turns and looks another way? Okay, so the profile. A lot of characters like to do profiles like this. Okay, where they have it in the middle. Okay, where it's like that. Okay, so you have the joining of the eye there and then you put the... But that's not quite right for this this character because she's favoring this top too much. So we've got to find kind of find a happy medium. You've got to kind of like think of doing something like this. So let's go in here and do it. So the first thing that I want to think about is, is okay, she's got a neckline, which is going to be something like this. She's going to be wearing a sweater, okay? And that to me is like another thing that I really enjoy. I love drawing uh, the female form. It's my both. I love I love women. I just think they're just incredibly beautiful. Uh, but one of my things that I love about drawing the female form is is I love putting them in interesting clothes and sometimes and not always revealing clothes because I think it's just easy. It's typical, and I think what what can really make it interesting and and beautiful is when they're when you've got them in like clothes very very sort of like stylish clothes that complement their form but don't necessarily reveal um d uh skin and all that or whatever so i that's what i'm really enjoying doing about these drawings i'm really enjoying the fashion I'm really enjoying the style. So the first thing I'm going to think about is is my landmark. So her pants are going to be up here somewhat. So I've got this hip line, which is kind of going to help me think about where my landmarks of where the pants are going to end. And then I'm going to think about, okay, well, her sweater is going to kind of end about here. Okay, like this. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to think about now building on that so she's going to be having a collar on top so you see i'm starting to build on this and around here the collar is going to come here like this so i'm building this triangle off there and i'm you can you can have it resting because what what would actually happen is is it would it would become thinner behind her neck okay and it can come out like this and then you can have that coming around on the other side okay like that and then you think about and we're going to kind of do something like that. And we're going to bring that in like that. So see, we've got fold going on, folds going on on the outfit. So then what, what we've got here is the outside of the sweater. OK, where I put the pant line, I'm going to just bring where that hips is. I'm going to bring the outside of the sweater there like that. And I'm going to kind of just put these lines contouring around it like that. So this now knee is going to be jutting forward as this knee is jutting forward what i like uh, what you can do with the pants uh, is you can think about how they're going to move away from that okay and come off from there so we're going to come around we want to think about them coming around and away of this leg okay so we're going to come around the contour okay and we're going to push up so now i'm going to think about okay well we got to think about this portion here so i've got to think about remember the, the the way the hip bone is pointing out and going in so i want to feel that hip bone and i want to think about that curling around the character's flesh okay like this you really have to think in those terms if you want this to work there we go so there that gives it that nice um feel of a pattern on there so now um 
what I am going to do is then finally talk about this pillow. Let's put a pattern on this pillow. This is super, super easy. So what we want to do is, again, we want to think about this. You see how the buckle, and then we change the direction. So we're going to come down. You see, this is like this kind of thing. Okay, okay right. Thank you, people. I have talked you through uh, this lecture. I'm going to put it on the one that I just started. I did this drawing, and I thought, you know, I'm really happy with this drawing. I'm going to do it again for you all on stream. It's a little bit different. It's not as nice. But uh, hopefully I've shared with you the process of how uh, I've been doing these drawings of late and, and all that stuff.